Okay, here's a diagram depicting what's going on. Focus on the diagram. We've got this plane at an altitude of eight miles flying this way at a rate of 600 miles per hour. And we've got this observer down here at some distance, unknown distance from where the plane started. Uh, and this is the angle of elevation from the observer to the plane. And if I go to Desmos and you picture this plane flying this way, you can see how that angle of elevation appears to be getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so it starts out here, and as the plane flies this way, X is decreasing, and that's the distance from a point below where the plane is to the observer, and the angle of elevation appears to be increasing. Let's see if we can uh, come up with something here. Uh, we're told that the, the rate of change of X is 600 miles per hour, but but that's actually getting smaller. So that's negative 600 miles per hour. But they ask for radians per minute. So we have to convert miles per hour to hours per minute. And we can say that one hour in one hour, there's 60 minutes. So 60 into negative 600 is negative 10 miles per minute. You can picture uh, these units canceling out. We've got miles per minute. Then there's different ways to set up a relationship between x and theta. We could actually solve this equation for theta using inverse tangent. Or we could say the cotangent of theta equals x over 8. Uh, I just left it this way. But in the end, I ended up solving for x as 8 cotangent theta. Now, if we take the derivative of all the variables with respect to time, this is a related rates problem, the derivative of x with respect to t equals 8 times the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. And then the derivative of the inside by the chain rule is d theta dt. And this is what I want to solve for. And while I'm at it, I'm going to replace dx dt with this minus 10 miles per minute, and then divide that value by 8, negative 8 cosecant squared theta. Well, uh, there's the negative over negative is positive, and the 10 eighths reduces to 5 fourths, and 1 over cosecant squared is the same as sine squared. So if we let theta equal 45 degrees, we get 5 fourths times, well, the sine of 45 is radical 2 over 2 squared is 2 over 4, 1 half. So 5 fourths times 1 half is 5 eighths. Whoops, times 1 half is 5 eighths. And so when theta is 45 degrees, I'd say that Theta is increasing at 5 eighths of a radian per minute. Okay, and then you can do the same thing right here. Substitute in these other values, 60 degrees, 80 degrees. You have to use a calculator for the 80 degrees. For 60 degrees, you can just substitute uh, for the sine of 60 is probably radical 3 over 2 squared is 3 fourths. But there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.